Howdy! In this video what we're going to do is we're going to talk about partial sums. Now, given some partial sum Sn, there's one of two things that they're going to ask you to do. They're going to say find An and find the infinite sum of An. And the way you're going to find An, your formula is Sn minus Sn minus 1. And if you want to find the infinite sum of An, what you're going to do is take the limit. The limit as n approaches infinity of your Sn. Now, it's important to really understand what Sn, what your partial sum is. And if I had something like S3, S3 is equal to A1 plus A2 plus A3. What it is, it's the sum of the first three terms of your sequence. Remember, what's a sequence? An is just a list of numbers. Remember, your An, An is simply just A1, A2, A3, and so forth. Remember, previously sequence, just a list of numbers. Now, I kind of want these to be relatively intuitive to y'all. And let me explain how we can make this intuitive. Why is An Sn minus Sn minus 1? Like if I want, like here in part B, when we find A4, a4 is going to be S4 minus S3, but why? What is S4? S4 would be A1 plus A2 plus A3 plus A4. What's S3 equal to? S3 is A1 plus A2 plus A3. And so whenever I subtract these two partial sums, these, these, and these are all going to cancel. And hey, guess what you're left with? A4. Okay, so and if I want the infinite sum, s like the infinite sum, the infinite sum of a n from one to infinity, this is a one plus a two plus literally every infinite term in your list. And so, if s three is a one through three, s four is a one through four, wouldn't it make sense for the infinite sum of from a one through infinity just be what you have when you plug infinity into Sn? I think so. Anyways, and that's why this is just S infinity. Okay, so it's important to understand what a partial sum is. It makes these problems a whole lot easier rather than just blindly memorizing an equation. So let's take a look at part A. For part A, I want to find An. What An is, it's Sn minus Sn minus 1. And so, given that Sn is n plus 1 over 2n minus 5, and this is just n plus 1 over 2n minus 5 minus, be careful. The reason I say be careful with this is this is n minus 1 plus 1 over 2 times n minus 1 minus 5. You're not just subtracting 1 from everything. What you're doing is you're replacing every n with an n minus 1. And so, here, this is still just n plus 1 over 2n minus 5. And then minus, here n minus 1 plus 1 is an n. And here, 2 times n, that's going to be a 2n. But then I'm going to have minus 2, and then minus that 5 is minus 7. So that's part A. Part B, if I want A4, you have one of two options. Now that I have an, you can just plug a 4 into here if you want, so that works. Or, if they didn't ask you to find part a first, you can just find a 4 by doing s4 minus s3. And s4 is what I get when I plug 4 into every n. And so here, 4 plus 1, that's 5. Over, and then here, 8 minus 5, that's going to be 3. And now when I plug a 3 into every n, here, 3 plus 1, that's going to be 4. And then plugging a 3 into here, 2 times 3, that's 6, minus 5, well, that's just 1. And remember that trick I showed you in the last exam, adding fractions? Here, 5 minus 12 is a negative 7, and then 3 and 1 is just 3. So that's part B. And then if you didn't check out this uh, trick that I showed you all, check out the previous video. It's at the very, very, very end. Uh, I showed you how to really quickly and easily add and subtract fractions. And then finally for part C, if I want the infinite sum, the infinite sum from 1 to infinity of a n, this is simply just the limit as n approaches infinity of that s n. And, limited, and your s n is just n plus 1 over 2 n minus 5, limits to infinity, same power on top, same power on bottom, 
take the coefficients. It's one half. That's how you deal with partial sums.